can see me? Yeah, you can see me. Okay, cool. Um, I want to tell you about, I just want to tell you a few things that's going on. A couple of exciting things. Um, first of all, I've bought another Golf. Um, it's been remapped. It's been... Yeah, it's been remapped about two... It should be 225, but in reality it's probably about 210, 205 because you always lose a couple of horses. Um, as you can see, it's got levers. The Marshall Caro levels there, you see that? It's also got fantastic mileage, which is really why I bought it. See that? Um, all the steering, all the interior is nice and new, gearbox is, gear knob is not worn. Um, steering wheel's all good. These are all telltale signs that the car hasn't really done the mile. When you look at the handbrake, it's not worn. And, you know, just think of things like the seatbelt, because they're going to get used all the time, or they hammered, or they battered. All these sort of things give you an indication to um, whether the car's got high mileage or not. And from my experience, I can tell this car's pretty all right. But it is a standard 1.8T. Like I said, remapped to about 200 and we're well, supposed to be two, 225 supposed to be but in reality it's probably closer to um 210 215 210 205 i should say um look so your standard one 1.8 t we've got a standard box there's absolutely nothing um there's nothing uh, modified on it but look look at it it looks the part put this bonnet down you look at it, it looks all right. It's got an ABT body kit on it, which I like. And black wheels, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them wheels yet, probably change them. Um, but yeah, that's basically what it looks like all the way around. And like I said, it's got that leather interior, which is lovely. This bolster would usually be absolutely ruined. They all are on all of them. It's not too bad, it's about 35,000 miles worth of damage there. I might try and find a way to protect that because a lot of them have that. And yeah, all the back seats are lovely and everything else. So we're gonna start with modifying this, I think. Might as well start from a good platform, I think, instead of something that's totally dead. So we're gonna start by modifying that. And now in the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you how to, um, how to put an extra 50 horsepower on your car. You ready? <laughs> I'm gonna show you, watch, watch. So the first thing you need to get extra horsepower is one of these t-shirts. Like that there, beam it works. That means something, that, that's everyone knows that, you know, you're not to be messed about with. And then secondly, you need a couple of these, see that? You see them? You don't even know what they are, do you? Is that better? Oh, look at that. Ah, you can see that now. You need one of these. These are your at least 50 horsepower stickers. Now these are really easy. I'm gonna show you how to apply them right now. This is a DIY bit vid. This is a horsepower DIY vid, so let's do it now. So okay, this is gonna be one of the easiest mods you're gonna be, ever do. It, it really is. For the horsepower you're gonna get, it's gonna be amazing. You're not, yeah, you won't, the boost, the boost you're gonna get, it's gonna be amazing. So cool, let me show you how these stickers work. Okay, so, you get your sticker and you peel off a corner. But you're trying to make sure that you split the back side away, the black side. So you peel it off like this. Yeah? Because this is the side that's sticky. Now, with your surface being cleaned, <laughs> thoroughly, I'm thoroughly cleaning the surface. You put your, what do you reckon, like this, like this? Like this, yeah, we put it here, like this. Once you're happy it's stuck, you need 
need to just grab the edge of your transfer paper and just oh my days that is too much <laughs> now everyone knows you've been BMAC'd everyone knows that is sick <laughs> That looks too good. Okay, so we're gonna put one more somewhere else now for your extra, extra horsepower. I'm not really sure where. So, I think I'm gonna go for the window. Yeah, let's go for the window. I don't know which one's better. I don't know if that one is better or that one is better. I don't know, they're both all right. They're both all right. I actually kind of like this one, if I'm being honest. Maybe this one gets the edge for me. I didn't think it would, but just cause it's just, Seems to smother in with whatever is going on around it. Seems to blend in a little bit. This one sticks out a little bit. There you have it, people. That's how you get your extra BHP. That's how you get your extra 50 BHP. That's how you get extra boost. That's how you become part of a club. This is how you support B Mac Vags and the videos. You know, if you keep buying them, I might be able to afford a shave. You know, maybe even a wash and some food. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think um, I think that's it. I like my new golf. The boost is amazing. The boost is amazing. I like my t-shirts. T-shirts have got it. My polos. It's a good time for BMAC bags. It's a good time for you lot. It's a good time for everyone. Oh dear, I thought the car locked me out. Yeah, it's a good time. We're gonna be getting more stuff. I'm gonna be getting more stuff. More stuff to help you lot. More stuff to help each other, us. So, um, stay tuned. Get yourself a sticker. It's a must have. If you really care about boost, get yourself a sticker. It's the only way you can get real boost. That's the only real way. Um, make sure to comment, rate, subscribe. And enjoy the videos. Thanks for watching.